the books are back for now. This took me two days to organize. If you follow me on my bookstagram, you know it's been a chaotic two days for me. But we have this now because my bookshelves were falling apart and I needed to get rid of them. So I thought this was fitting because I'm going to be talking about all of the books I've been reading on my Kindle. I have not read a physical book since the year started. Everything that I've been reading, it's been on my Kindle. She is my newest obsession my favorite thing in the entire world i love that i can just carry this wherever and just read whatever i want and i just have like all of my favorite books just stored in this tiny little thing this is like the best thing that i've ever gotten and i highly would recommend this and i read so much faster okay the first book i read this year i promised myself i was not going to read this book but I got some pretty mixed reviews about it. But the first book that I read was Haunting Adeline by H.D. Carlton. I'm going to give you a very spoiler-free review. The main male character or the love interest is a stalker. And that just like was immediately no. Like I don't like the stalker trope. I gave this book a one star which kind of ended up being a zero star because of the love interest did not like him i don't know how you could give him a five star i don't know how anyone would like him um if you know you know what i mean it can get very intense so please free trigger warnings i did read the trigger warnings i knew what i was getting myself into and i still read it so i have no one to blame but myself because about this girl she's a writer and this guy seeing her for the very first time and he's instantly in love or he's obsessed with her it was like love at first sight or obsession at first sight or whatever and he decides he's gonna stalk her until she's his it was just on another level i mean i'm talking about to the point where he would go into her house without her knowledge he would leave notes and things like that and he even installed cameras in her room so the number one red flag for me his reasoning behind all of that is it's just not enough not enough that book ended on a cliffhanger and there is a second book so obviously i had to read the second book i read the second book why because i like to torture myself the second book traumatized me in the worst way possible it wasn't bad like like writing or plot wise <sighs> read trigger warnings for the second book because you might throw up something happens at the end of the first book and they're trying to figure it out in the second book i don't want to talk about it whatever it's a cliffhanger it's like the worst cliffhanger ever so in the second book they're trying to how can i talk about the second book without telling you what happened in the last book <sighs> The main female character is being constantly physically abused. Like, I'm talking about chapter after chapter of her being descriptively abused. And that made me so ill. I had to pause, I had to take a break from reading. I still do not like the main male character. I still think he is wrong for what he did in the first book. If you know what I'm talking about, then you know how I feel. He is just like the most ironic person ever. His job, like his whole purpose in life is to protect women and children, but yet he is here stalking this woman and making her feel uncomfortable and unsafe. I don't understand that. I would not recommend this book. Okay, so last year I read Divi and King by Rena Kent and I listened to it so it was not the greatest book but it left me on a cliffhanger as well and I kind of wanted to know what is going on like like what is the story behind this and obviously I've been in a very like dark romance type of mood so I'm like okay I'll, I'll give the series another shot so I read the second book Steel Princess it was horrible 
didn't like it. I felt like the writing was very immature, very childish. The characters were very childish. I felt like the main female character had no sense at all. I read the third book. It's called Twisted Kingdom. And why did I give this a three star? I have no idea, but I guess the series got better. It's called The Royal Elite series by Rena Kent. And it's basically about um, a boarding school for high schoolers. So it's very like a privilege, like it's like one of those schools where all the rich rich kids go to. So it starts off with this girl being transferred over and the rich kids just bullies her. Bullies her until this one guy who is like the king of the school ends up having a fascination with her. He ends up being obsessed with her to the point where he is torturing her uh, mentally and you kind of find out he kind of has a connection to her uh, i personally did not like the first couple's books i was very excited for the fourth book because it's about the main character's best friend and i really really was interested in her story and why she is the way she is i loved her honestly she's probably my favorite book girl like my second favorite book girl in this entire series so i really like her i just didn't like the guy and his reasoning behind hating her my excuse for reading really bad books or continue to reading really bad books or series is because i want to know more about the characters so <laughs> it's a terrible excuse okay then i read the fifth book which is vicious prince this one i gave it a three stars as well as the fourth one this one was was okay um i couldn't really relate to that one but i did like the guy character and then the last book in the series is ruthless empire this one i gave four stars because i love the female character i love silver queen so much i felt like the author just loves writing very poor female lead i feel like all her women are just like lacking so much like they have no power they have like no strength i feel like she just makes them out to be so weak to the point where they have to depend on a guy to save them and i just simply didn't like that at all oh then there's an epilogue book so it features all of the couples in this and it just kind of talks about like their life after high school and then i didn't know that there was another couple but this is like the first 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 book it's called cruel king and i ended up reading that last which i ended up really liking because it was actually really good and the main female character in this book was one of my favorites because she was not written as a weakling at all she was very strong she has a lot of trauma and i love that she fought back and i love that she stood up for herself so i really really like that one i think my favorite book that i've read so far is the publicity stunt made me laugh so hard did not expect it to be so spicy absolutely loved it this one i definitely would recommend you need to read this book it is super funny this is childhood best friends to lovers second chance romance it's dual point of view and it goes back and forth from when they first met to present day okay the next book i read is magnolia parks i had such high expectations for this book because of how everyone hyped this book up and talked about it this book just like had so many tropes that i did not like at all first of all the cheating trope immediately no the characters are like in their 20s and they're acting like middle schoolers the main character magnolia and her love interest they're so toxic towards each other they have a very unhealthy relationship a very unhealthy friendship they've been friends since they were kids i believe their whole friend group seems very fun and all but just the two of them very toxic i honestly do not even know what the plot of this book is i did not get it next book or next series that i read was another rena kent's series so this is called the legacy of gods series and this is the second generation from the first series the first book i hated of course because 
<laughs> very poorly written characters i have to say and I, to tell you know i don't even know why i'm wasting my time with this but i read it and i gave it a two stars oh the reason why i gave it a two star is because of their friend group i love their friend group i like this fr friend group better than the original book series because they're extremely funny and there's a lot of tension like romantic tension between some of the characters and i cannot wait to get to their books the main female character what's her name we'll call her glenn glenn something tragic happens to her best friend he committed suicide and she's trying to figure out why she's trying to kind of like figure out who was behind it the male character Killian he has some information about it so he kind of knows something about it he wants to know why the guy that committed suicide was friends with her and she thinks he has something to do with her friend's death okay then I read the second book which is God of Pain hated it I remember having this book on my TBR for like two years now it's called Shameless King by Maya Hughes and it's hockey romance which i've been obsessed with hockey romance like two years ago and i really wanted to read this one so i needed something like light and fluffy and you know like like cutesy this was a nice quick read but it didn't do me any good but it's kind of a ripoff of the deal okay now the best books i've read so far and i'm still recovering is the dark verse series Mel put me on the series and she has never recommended a bad book oh my god you guys I read The Predator loved it did not think I would ever give a mafia romance a five star review but I did that's how good this series is I've never read a book so well written it's in third point of view and I never thought I would actually enjoy reading third point of view I really like to hear the character's thoughts and feelings towards the other person but I really enjoyed this book the main female character working with the enemy aka the main male character aka her love interests um, they have to work together to figure out who stole her codes you kind of find out more about each character's past lives and stuff like that and how they're all connected so good the third book is about the second couple love them they're my favorite couple childhood friends to lovers forbidden romance i just loved it just like reading about their trauma and what they've been through and reading about them now and like how far they've come it's very inspiring i just love this couple so much like i highly recommend this book i think i was like into 100 pages and it started getting so sad i'm like what this this is supposed to be dark romance what is this i am currently reading the third book in the legacy of god series so i'm reading god of wrath so it's a dark enemies to lovers romance it's a third book i was really excited to read this book i thought that this book was going to be one of my favorite books in her series i'm kind of hating it so far so it started off as a four star for me but it's leading towards a one and i'm very disappointed in that so that's all i have for today thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video bye